All right, welcome to my pumpkin patch. Um, just another update because I am on the eternal struggle of getting pumpkins to grow in my pumpkin patch. So I just thought this is mid-August, late August. We'd take a peek and see where things were at. We do have pumpkins. I don't think I have one per plant, at least not one per what I planted, but I've got way more than I did last year. So I'm happy about that. Things are still mostly alive. Um, I have still, I'm still sort of, loud truck, sorry, I live on a highway. Okay, um, I am still dealing with squash vine bores damage. So, you know, we obviously did get them. I'm gonna say we didn't get nearly as much as I did two years ago. Um, obviously, because I do have pumpkins. Um, but I didn't 100% get rid of them with all my various techniques, but I think I kind of stay, you know, helped them stave them off a little bit, though I do kind of think the population was lower, which maybe that's from previous year's um, methods as well. Um, you can, like this guy, who you can kind of tell, definitely had some damage. Um, the, the good part, I think, about keeping the pumpkins in like fully tilled instead of just like mounds is that when they branch out there's there's going to be more roots under some uh, under some of these so this part of the plant dies it still has a chance like you can actually even see this this is nearly dead and then we've got new growth so I think that's a that's a key I think if these were on a trellis or if these were you know in the turf th it wouldn't do as good um, I think I definitely cut down on the number of squash vine borers by using some of the chemicals on the stems, but I didn't reapply, so that probably could have helped. Um, yeah, definitely damage in there. I did inject a couple times, but not everything. Um, just the ones that I definitely could tell there was damage. But I think it's a, you call it a semi-success, I guess. Um, so the plan for the fall is once these are all harvested, I think I'll let all this stuff dry and we're probably going to burn it all. Um, and also probably till it up. So any larva that, maybe till it first, then burn it. I don't know. We'll see. Any larva that's in the dirt will hopefully either be exposed and die or burnt and die hopefully then eliminating those for next year same with the vines anything that's still living in the vines will get burnt none of this is going to go in the compost and i will save seeds from any of these because one would hope that they are stronger now that they have survived the evil squash vine boar but you know, um, I don't know if I'll rotate these to another spot next year. I like having, you know, pumpkin patch, so we'll see. But finally getting some blue pumpkins. Um, supposedly the porcelain doll, the pink ones, this is my giant pumpkin. So it's not giant yet. It is bigger than my hand at this point, but it took a long time for this flower to even show up. So we'll see how she goes. Um, I don't actually don't think that this one has squash vine board damage, but I could be wrong. Let's take a peek. If I can find it, that is this vine. Can't tell. It's a, it's a jungle. It's hard to tell. But I just threw that plastic um, bag under there so it can slide instead of getting stuck. I think this is probably a porcelain doll or else it's... I had like a pink and green kind of stripey one that I had planted too. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this. It's weird. <laughs> Big and long. And this guy in here is like orange with 
green stripes. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know that I planted anything like that, but maybe. And now this is the weird one. This is the one that I thought was a zucchini. But now it's vining out and it's got this guy on here. That's either the world's largest summer squash zucchini or it is a pumpkin. And all the ones that I thought were zucchinis before were not actually zucchinis. So I'm letting this one go to see, but it's definitely odd. It's not the shape I would expect of any of the things I planted. Some polar bear, big white ones. They're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of yellow. Hopefully, I don't know if they'll get whiter. And some, I don't remember what this one is. I think that might be a Big Max or something. And some more over here. Not, you know, like I said, not nearly as many as I had hoped. Um, this is this weird one, which has now died out. It had all these, all these dry things. Each one of these was a flower, a male flower. So, I mean, this sucker, I mean, I've never seen one with this many flowers on it. So I think that's a case of fascination. We also look like we got some squash vine bore damage, of course. And these end ones were volunteers and they are turning out to be the little bitty baby boos. Which are cute. Yeah. Got some. Only got one Turk's turban that I've seen. And I like these giant marigolds. I think next time I'll just do the giant marigolds in the middle. They get tall enough to not be shaded out or anything. And a few other random ones over here. And some damage. I did not have pumpkin damage from cucumber beetles, so I guess there's that. Some of the ladies, I don't know if you can see them, chickens. My electric fence doesn't work right now, so I don't know if they will sneak in here or not. Um, this was another bar, uh, giant one, but it has not gotten a female flower on it yet, so don't think that is going to happen. And the trellis. And I was saying before, I think next year I'm going to do loofah on this one um, because that just vines so much better than anything else. The bottle gourds are vining really well, except for the ones that keep trying to escape. So I'll probably keep those and the loofah. I don't even know. I think this is supposed to be one of those little bitty ones. <laughs> it's not. But just so we can fill this out, even if I don't get tons of actual fruit, it would be nice to have the thing covered. But I got a couple bottles this year, so I'm excited because I didn't have any last year. Think about, yeah, that one is the best one. And then these ones are kind of crooked. Thought I had more than that, but this one also crooked. Another randomly large thing. One over here. Lots of decorative gourds, so we'll sell those at the farmer's market. But better than last year. Not as good as it could have been. But you do what you can do, I guess. So that is the update on the old pumpkin patch. So squash vine borers, I won't give them a full point for the year. I'll give them half a point. And I think I get half a point as well for tackling them. We'll see what happens in a month when it's time to start picking some of these pumpkins.